the whole essence of this correction is not just for the NECO students that just finished their exams or are about finishing their exams. It's also to help those that will be writing the GC to also learn how they are expected to answer their practical questions, right? So question two, candidates are advised to adhere strictly to the instruction given. All observations and inferences must be recorded in the table below. Identify any gas or gases given off. You are provided with sample C. Carry out the following test on it. Remember, sample C here was Na2CO3, that's a hydrous carbonate 4, right? So, in the first test, you are told to place the sample C on a dry spatula and heat on a flame. This is a flame test, right? I told you about this. And flame test is used to test for what? Cat iron, right? And why are they using flame test here? Because the cat iron present in the salt in sample C is not the common one that's always test tested for in the syllabus using a wet analysis using sodium hydroxide or aqueous ammonia, right? You don't use aqueous ammonia or sodium hydroxide to test for sodium ions. That's why we have to make use of what the flame test. And sodium ions show a golden yellow flame when heated. So the observation here will, will be a bright word. Golden yellow or a bright yellow whichever one golden yellow flame is seen right so what's the inference the inference here is that sodium ion present very straightforward and your two marks now c plus 5 cm cube of distilled water and shake thoroughly c is a sodium salt and all sodium salts are soluble even though it is a trazocarbonate carbonate 4 which are mostly insoluble but because the sodium trazocarbonate carbonate 4 it is what soluble because all sodium salts are soluble right so this is solubility test so it's just one mark here so I C dissolves completely to give a colorless solution and not a colorless precipitate too because you cannot have a something that dissolves giving you precipitate again at the same time no it's not possible so what does that tell us here that C is soluble or is a soluble what salt that's if you were told that C is a salt in the introductory part of this question let's see okay we just so that we are giving sample c so we don't know why it is a salt or not so it's not right to say c is a soluble salt it's just okay to say c is what soluble so let's correct that except it was clearly stated in the introductory question that's when you could say that c is a soluble word so, but since it was not stated, since we were silent, we are not where it's a salt, it could have been a base, right? That's why you all say that C is what soluble. Now, test the solution with litmus paper. You are told to divide the solution into two portions, right? So, test the solution with litmus paper. In our practice tutorial on this examination, we told you that C is, is a sort of a weak acid and a strong base, which hydrolyzes in water to give an alkaline water solution. So if you use an alkaline solution, it will turn red litmus paper blue. Red litmus paper turns blue. While blue litmus paper remains unchanged. remains unchanged that remains blue so what do we infer here that solution of c is alkaline not c is alkaline no c is not alkaline but the solution of c is alkaline right next test says to the first portion we are told to divide okay we are told to divide into two portions right so to the first portion add barium chloride solution of course when we add barium chloride given that it's a carbonate the chemistry of the reaction will be BaCl2 
2 which is aqueous plus Na2CO3 aqueous this will give us what Ba CO3 solid plus 2 NaCl aqueous this is a double what decomposition so this will be a white precipitate so white precipitate you write your precipitate in full not ppt write precipitate formed or forms let's be consistent with our tenses so white precipitate forms what we infer here for a white precipitate to be formed when bacl2 is added they are likely going to be four ions it can be so4 two minus it can be so3 two minus it can be CO3 2 minus or it can be S2 minus present. Any of these four can be what present. Now it is the next test that will somehow tell us which of them is not present or that is present. Add dilute HCl to the product in B1. I'm sure when you added dilute HCl to the product in B1, the precipitate dissolves, right? So precipitate. dissolves to give a colorless solution I end your one mark there so what does that tell us well for the precipitate to dissolve it means that it's not SO4 2 minus so it can either be SO3 2 minus or CO3 2 minus it could also have been barium sulfide right or s2 minus but since it just added two marks here let's see, so let's see that so32 minus or co32 minus present but let me put add or s2 minus present yes yes anyone could have been present now it's only when you pass the solution through uh, lime water that you confirm that it is co32 Let's even look at this again. Since there's no other test that will help us confirm that it's CO32 minus, let's correct this. Let's correct this uh, precipitate dissolves to give a colorless solution. Effervescence of a gas of a gas that turns lime water. Now, okay, I always like to give them what everything that they need so that they will not have any cause to talk, man, because this question is blurry right it's not clear it's neither here nor there but given the salt that we have then that's the only thing that you can actually confirm that this guy is what co2 right so gas is co2 and co32 minus present right actually if just based on this test so32 minus can also give you a similar word result the little that will differentiate so32 minus from co32 minus is that so32 minus will decolorize acidified potassium permanganate word 7 or acidified potassium ethosodichromate 6 right that is what we can use to differentiate so32 minus from co32 minus otherwise any of those two would go for this right but since we are working with co32 minus that's why i had to leave it as that now the last question here to the second portion add phenolphthalein fine since you know that it's already alkaline in nature right so what would be the color phenolphthalein in an alkaline medium that would be what solution turns what purple or pink anyone Color of solution turns what pink. So, what do we infer? Solution of C is alkaline. So, with this, you earn your complete marks on this question, 
right? Now let's look at the last question. 